Welcome to All Brands After Hours with me, your host, Courtney Dowlett. Welcome to the show where we hang out and craft together. Today we'll be testing out scan and cut hacks and seeing do they really work. Let's do this. So our first hack involves parchment paper. Courtney, are we cooking? Are we baking? No. We're going to do a multiple layer design with pressure sensitive vinyl. So the parchment is supposed to act like a barrier to let you line up your designs, you know, one color after another without it getting stuck. So you kind of have some wiggle room. So first what we're going to do is jump into our machine and grab a design. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go to pattern. I wanna go to Disney. <laughs> And I'm gonna come actually down to the bottom to grab this bow to do our hack. And I'm gonna shrink it down just a little bit, just cause I'm using scrap vinyl. So, all right, and then hit okay. And now I'm gonna bring in every one of my pieces. And I have already scanned in my material because it is so easy to be able to put things on your mat. There we go, set. There we go. Wonderful, you see how perfectly it does? Now to be able to scan in your material, it's just that button right there. Nothing special. You don't have to send it to an outside, outside source or anything like that. You can just do it straight on your machine. So there's no snapping it to the mat. There's none of that. It's super easy. All right, everything looks great and it's gonna cut out perfectly, of course. So I'm gonna hit okay. Please select and cut. All right, half cut is on. Half cut is an amazing tool that lets you only cut through half of the material, which is exactly what we want for vinyl. And before anyone else asks, I am using my Black Auto Blade. There is a vinyl blade that does it a little bit better in my opinion, but the black one will get you through just fine. There she goes. And I've done this once before and it did work. Now, again, it has been a while, so I'm hesitant. All right, let's unload our mat, take our vinyl off of our mat. So I'm just going to weed my vinyl like I normally do for this hack, nothing special, nothing crazy. Just weed it like regular. All right, so for the hack, we take our transfer and we put it on the first image that we wanna lay down onto this base. So I'm just gonna peel off my transfer. Go. All right, and then we're going to, like normal, put it on our first layer, like this. Okay, use my squeegee to squeegee it on down. What we're going to do is now to take this off so off of the backing. So now it's on the transfer tape. What you're supposed to do is to take the parchment and you're going to put it on here with a little bit of the transfer tape sticking out. So you see how the parchment's on the design itself, but not on that transfer tape right there. So now what we're supposed to be able to do is to line it up with our design. Now this transfer is not very see-through, so it's kind of hard to see it, especially because the vinyl underneath is white and the backing of the vinyl, like the, the paper part, is also white. So it makes this a little bit hard, but you're supposed to be able to like line it up and I can kind of see it. Uh, I'm sure if this was like high contrast, it would be easier. So I'm sure when we do our black part, it's gonna be easier. I think I've lined it up pretty well. So I'm gonna stick the transfer down, it's like to my table. So that way I can now flip it and pull back parchment and then slowly put my image down on there. How cool is that? And look, it's perfectly aligned. Well, maybe not right there, but again, it's pretty, pretty good for me not having to like eyeball it down. So now we're just gonna squeegee that. 
and then pull our transfer off. I'm gonna put an extra piece of paper, I mean, piece of tape before I do this, just because it is wanting to pull off the table because like normally it wants to. Another hack I saw someone do was they took their squeegee and went like this at an angle, and I do like peeling at an angle, and then they pulled the vinyl up onto the squeegee and it made the vinyl want to stay down. Now my squeegee is not big enough for the whole big design because it is a big design, but that hack actually did work. So that hack personally is Courtney approved. All right, so now we've got that first part down and honestly, I think I'm liking this hack. Now again, I've done it before, uh, but it's been a long time. The only thing I don't like is that the parchment it's not very see-through. So maybe if you had a thinner parchment, this would actually work a little bit better. All right, so I'm taking my design, my next piece, and putting my same transfer, I've been using the same one. All right, now we're gonna peel that off. Comes off beautifully. All right, then we're taking the same piece of transfer tape, and we're gonna make sure that a little bit is sticking out, so on this side, like this, so that part can like stick to the table. All right, flip it again. Okay, yeah, okay, that's easier to see. The white was a little hard to see, but this uh, this pink is really easy to see. So I'm just gonna line it up where it like, you know, sits on the edge nicely. All right, I don't see any pink on the outside. Do you guys see anything? I think we're good. All right, so we'll put the transfer down where it's touching the table to like stick it to it. It's kind of like a little hinge for me, because then we're gonna pull up pull the parchment back, which lets the sticky part of our vinyl stick down. Oh, that's some good lining up. <laughs> All right, let's squeegee her on down. All right, and then we'll do our squeegee trick hack again. And down. Oh, it came out so good. Oh, it's perfect. It is perfect, if I do say so myself, everything lined up beautifully. All right, so I would say this came out perfect. Now I have this huge decal that I can just take off and use whenever I want, wherever I want. How cool did that come out? And that was so easy to layer instead of having to do my transfer and then like hoping I'm lining it up okay. So the parchment trick is Courtney approved. That is amazing. I, why have I not been using this lately? I love this trick. This is so good. And not even just for multiple layers. Like say you want to put your design on a cup and you wanted to line it up okay. The parchment trick for the wind to be able to line it up because you can still move it around a little bit. I love that. That was great. So definitely Courtney approved. The squeegee hack, that was good. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to use that hack again. I don't know why I've never thought about that. You just pull and this is wanting to keep everything down and it's pulling it off. So Courtney approved as well. That was wonderful. And most of us have the little squeegee scraper tools already. So I don't want to call it squeegee or scraper, tell me down below. But that hack, that hack was good. <laughs> Alrighty, our next hack involves cling film. Uh, cling the seal, I guess whatever brand it is, depends on the name. So the hack, you're supposed to be able to use this as transfer tape. Now, as far as I'm aware, this stuff doesn't have any like stick to it at all. Yeah, it's just plastic. So I don't understand how this is gonna work. But they said it had to be cling, cling and seal. All right, so I'm gonna grab a piece of this off of here. I don't think I need anything too big. All right, so I have my cling film here. I don't see how this is gonna work. Okay, and I'm supposed to be able to put it on my design. I really hope it doesn't mess up my design. I really like our bow. Okay, there we go. And I'm supposed to be able to, am I supposed to like brayer it down maybe? Cause like it's popping off already. It's wanting to come off of here already. Oh look, oh God. Okay, so don't brayer it. The, the, the silicone of the brayer is wanting to pull it off of there. Okay. I'm using Glad brand as a certain brand. I'm scared to use my scraper because I feel like I'm going to be able to like rip through it. I guess I'll like lightly use my scraper tool. I don't think this is gonna work. Okay. No, look, it's just, maybe if I do it backwards, like, okay, let's weed backwards here. Okay. <laughs> I don't see how this works. Okay. All right, 
I'm pulling it because it's like bunching in on itself every time it touches itself. Okay. <laughs> no, it's coming off of here because I'm forcing it to, but it doesn't want to stick to the paper, like the, 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 whatever this stuff is, the cling fill. Am I doing this wrong? Okay, I feel like this is not working. Maybe it's the wrong side of it? I didn't think that this had a side. I feel like it's normal on both sides. Oh gosh, okay. Yeah, this is just coming straight off. Like it's not wanting to stay on there at all. Yeah, I'm gonna say, oh gosh, it got underneath the sticky. It got under there. <laughs> I'm gonna say this was a hack fail. Not Courtney approved. This is a, uh, this did not work at all. I don't. Alrighty, the next hack involves pressure sensitive vinyl. I guess you could do it on heat transfer vinyl and baby powder. So what you're supposed to be able to do is once you cut a design, you pour a little baby powder on there so you can see the lines a little bit better to weed it out. A lot of times the Skin Cut does such an intricate line that's really hard to see, especially on like darker vinyl or, uh, well, I was gonna say white, but this is white. So I don't think this hack would work on white vinyl, but it is supposed to work on colored vinyl. So let's jump in our machine to get a design. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go to pattern. All right, we're gonna go get a Disney design and let's actually get a princess. We never do princesses. Let's see, now I wanna get a pretty intricate design. Oh, I love this one with Ariel and Flounder. That is so cute. Yeah, that could be pink. I mean, honestly, it should be red because it's her hair, but she's gonna have pink hair today, okay? I'm gonna shrink that design down just a little bit. Alrighty, hit okay. Okay again, set. All right, so there's our design. She's gorgeous. All righty, and I'm just gonna go ahead and move this down here because I know that's where I accidentally just put the vinyl on my mat. <laughs> here we go, load it in. All righty, and then let's scan in our material right here to be able to see what's on our mat in color. Especially because I am using up scraps for this hack. In case the hack doesn't work, I'm not wasting any of my good vinyl. <laughs> All right, there she is in color. And we have more than enough vinyl. I actually could have moved it up if I wanted to. So I'm gonna hit okay. Please select, and I wanna cut. And of course, half cut is still on from our last hack we did, so we can hit start. There we go. And so she's gonna go ahead and cut all of our vinyl out very nicely. And while she's cutting out, of course, I wanna do our All Brands Behind the Scenes Membership Spotlight. Honey Borla, you are a Membership Spotlight. Thank you so much for being a member, honey. And if you all remember, you saw us do this cool thing. So we actually used uh, etching cream in the Scan and Cut. So the Scan and Cut made a template for us to etch on this mirror. How cool, and I'm actually holding it this way so you don't see my messy studio, but it says congrats Landon. We made that on behind the scenes. So very, very cool. And if you guys don't know, Behind the Scenes is our membership program. It is a paid membership program that we do that you get exclusive weekly lives with me. And she's done, she's so quick. <laughs> There we go. All right. All right, take our vinyl off. There we go. So, I, I mean, I can personally see where it cut out. So I, I don't think I'd have too much problems with being able to like weed this out. I don't know if you can see it. Like you guys can see it, right? So I don't feel like I'd have too much problems. Now you could always get a light box to do this, but we gotta try the hack. I am not looking forward to having the smell fall over my desk. All right. You know what, let's tape it down. Let's tape it down so that way I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt here. Cause I really don't want this like popping up like this and putting baby powder all over me. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm not excited about this. Okay, ready? I don't know how much I'm supposed to use. I mean, oh, oh gosh. Okay, do I just like, okay, I can definitely see the lines better. So yes, that is true. You can see the lines better. It just smells. <laughs> it just really, really smells. I'm just gonna... Okay, so if I'm careful with weeding, nothing should be pulling up that it... I have like a ton of extra powder here. I poured too much. Okay, so I guess you only need a little bit, which is good. I'm just gonna push it over there. Okay. Oh my gosh, this smells. I don't like this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start weeding it out. I, <laughs> all right, let's weed the inside part. I mean, I can see it a little bit better. 
it's true. But like then you're gonna have to wipe down your design because it's got this baby powder all over it. I don't know. I was <laughs> so hoping it would get and like I feel like baby powder is kind of getting on my hands while I'm doing it. So that's not really fun. But you know what? Let me let I'm being negative. Let me let me say a positive. Yes, I can see the lines better. That was the only positive I could think about this. But I felt I didn't feel like they were too bad in the first place. Oh, you see that? I like accidentally picked it up just a little bit with this vinyl, his little eye. And when I set it back down, it got like stuck on some baby powder and didn't want to stick back down. Uh, that makes me extremely nervous. And like, I feel like there's like baby powder all over my pick now. Okay, all right, so I've weaved it out. It still has like a powdery residue on it, so I'm sure I could get like a baby wipe. We're just all in the baby section today. I'm sure I could just wipe it down. I mean, it will wipe off, but then it's all over you. I just don't like this. I don't like this not one bit. I feel like I was so distracted by the fact that it was getting all over my hands and my picker that I didn't even focus on what I was weeding out and I messed up a few times. Like I accidentally took the bubbles right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say no. It got under the vinyl when I was doing flounder and it made the vinyl wanna shift around because the sticky was being covered by the baby powder. Yeah, I'm gonna say this was a fact fail for me. I would never do this again and I don't know what I'm doing with this giant thing of baby powder. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> it smells so bad. <laughs> Alrighty, the last hack is to actually use transfer tape as a barrier between your skin and cut mat and a piece of felt. So I guess to like save yourself from the mat getting felt all over it. I, I think this will probably work. The only thing is I don't mind if felt gets on my mat because I use Totally Awesome. If you guys have never heard it before, Totally Awesome is a great cleaner for your skin and cut mat. And I've showed it a ton on the show. It's, it gets everything off. So I'm, I don't care that felt gets on my mat personally, but I mean, if that bothers you and that's a thing that you don't like, well, then maybe this hack will work. So I'm just gonna cut off a little bit piece of transfer. And I, I don't know, I'm already skeptical. I, I think it might work, but I could just use Totally Awesome. So I don't know, maybe I'm the wrong person to try this out because I just use Totally Awesome for everything. All right, so we're gonna put transfer with the paper side up. And I'm just gonna put it anywhere on my mat. I'm putting it right here. <laughs> okay, use the sprayer. Okay. All right, it's on there. And I'm just using a standard mat because I feel like it would hold it really well while it's cutting. All right, so I'm gonna take off the paper backing of the transfer off. This feels so wrong. <laughs> Okay, so it is sticky. Like transfer is sticky. It is one to come off my mat a little bit. It is sticky. So I'm just gonna put my felt on there. And use my brayer. I just, it's so much, oh, jeez. Okay, be careful, Courtney. All right, brayer on there. Oh gosh, okay. Be careful, the brayer is getting stuck to the transfer and wanting to come off. All right, just, I'll just bray it very carefully without touching the transfer. I feel like I can bray on my mat without my mat pulling up. But if you like, you see that? Yeah. Mm, and I don't know, I love using a good brayer, so I don't know. All right, I'm gonna load this in. We might need to grab a design. <laughs> Let's jump in our machine and grab a design. All right, so I'm gonna go to pattern and I'm just gonna grab a design. Uh, let's do a star. Okay, shrink that down just a little bit. That should work, okay. Now I'm gonna scan it in like I do all of mine. Hit start. Alrighty, now to be able to cut out my felt, of course I'm going to use my rotary blade. What else would I use? This is my favorite blade in the whole wide world. This blade is amazing. If she was made to cut out 
all sorts of things. So now you have felt the wool, anything like that, you can do it. I mean, honestly, she replaced my thin fabric blade for everything. So I'm gonna put that blade in. All right, so there's our design. I'm just gonna drop it on our felt all willy-nilly like that. Hit okay, please select, and we wanna cut. All right, everything looks great, and we're gonna hit start. I'm even worried that it's not gonna hold, like is the transfer sticky enough to hold the felt down while it cuts? I mean, the rotary blade is super careful when it cuts. So if any combo could make it work, it would be this combo. Because I know that the transfer is not going to come off the sticky standard mag because it's going to hold it down on there. And I know the rotary blade is going to do great cutting felt because it always does. And is it going to cut through the transfer? I didn't think about that. We're about to find out. I just, even if it does work, I don't see where I would be worried about it making, um, like felt making a mess when it cuts on my mat. Cause I don't care. I mean, I just, again, I, I clean them, it's fine. Totally awesome, gets it all off. It's been kind of, it's kind of satisfying, honestly. All right, she's done. <laughs> I'm like hesitant. All right, now take your votes in the comments below. Did it cut through? the transfer or did it just cut oh it okay so it did cut through a little bit of the transfer like barely like my many many cuts star out oh also is it easy to get the star off like the felt off of the sticky transfer like it did the mat so i'm gonna give it the same courtesy that i would i'm gonna get my spatula tool for once i'm gonna be good okay. all right so i'm gonna like wiggle it off. I guess I could have pulled off everything around it and just like left that. Okay. Hmm. I have to pull everything off. Okay. Put that over there. I mean, it did it. I just, I feel like it would have done it better because like I have a few like straggly bits and that's not how it normally happens like usually my scan and cut cuts all the way through beautifully so I think the transfer maybe did something where it didn't let it do a clean cut because I shouldn't have these like scraggly bits let me show you up close like do you see that where I have these like scraggly little bits that never happens when I'm cutting out wool like felt or wool or anything so it's the same mats I always use and the same blades I use. The only difference was I use that transfer. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I don't like it. So yes, my mat's clean and I don't really have any like felt debris from it cutting. And it's all on this thing. So you can see where the star was from the felt that it did. You know, when the blade goes down, it does, you know, kick up a little bit of fibers, but it's not. So I thought it cut all the way through. It didn't. Like it's just like a few areas that like did cut through a little bit, but not the whole thing. Now, just to prove a point, because of course I want to, I'm gonna have it cut out. Let's see, where is that on there? On the middle. I'm gonna have it cut out another piece of felt. So the same kind of felt right here. I'm gonna have it cut out but not using that transfer to see if it was the transfer doing that or something else. So, so we are going to give it, give it a fair chance. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was the blade. I don't think it was the blade, but, but you know what? We'll, we'll give it a fair chance. All right, I just put the felt straight onto the mat. That way we can, we can see. I have a funny feeling it wasn't that. Yeah, like I never have all this like, extra bits I don't know and like it did it it's a star is it a good star no <laughs> but it's a star anyone walking by would say oh that's a that's a nice looking star well, they wouldn't say this is, this is not a nice looking star this is horrible <laughs> I don't know and I would hate for someone to use this hack for the first time when cutting out felt and think that that's how the scanning cut cuts out felt because that is not the case like it does not cut it out like that. That's, this is. <laughs> now what she's cutting out, of course, I wanna tell you real quick that we opened a second date for all brands 
All Brands Academy, San Antonio. So I will have that link down below. You guys sold out the other one so quickly that like everyone was like, wait, I wanted, a, I wanted a chance to do it. So we have actually made a second date for that event. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Like, okay. Okay, let's get it off of the mat. Fantastic. All right, so this is the one that we had the transfer on. Do you see all the little scraggly bits and stuff? Okay, and this is the one that we just did without it. So is there a difference? Yes. Is it a very small difference? Yes. But like, do you see all those little, and I pulled some of them off, like all the little scraggly bits in there. Like, look at the bottom of that thing. Like, it's scraggly. Where this one is crisp. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Oh no, do I have a bit of felt on my mat? I don't even know if you can see it with the camera. Like, a bit of felt. Is it awful? No. Am I probably gonna wait to clean my mat till later because I'm probably gonna do more things on it to gunk it up? Yes. But if I do totally awesome on it, just spray it, wipe it down, like, it goes back totally to normal. So, in my personal professional opinion, like, do you look at that? Look at all that inner little fluff coming off of there. And then the one that we cut out without that transfer, crisp, beautiful, perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna consider this a hack fail. Just put it on your mat and <laughs> just cut it out like normal. There's no need to add the, the additional transfer. There's no need to waste the transfer. And you know, to help keep your mat clean, I'd rather a good cut. And then I'm saving my transfer and not having to use it for this and I can use it for pressure sensitive vinyl and different things that I'm doing. So that would be, so this is a fact fail for me. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments. What was your favorite hack? Was it the parchment trick to layer the designs? Was it the squeezy trick to get the design off of the uh, transfer easier? Was it the cling fill trick that didn't work? <laughs> was it the transfer trick to be able to cut out felt and wool? Which one was it down below? Let me know. And if you have a trick that you want me to try on the next hack video, please put it because I love doing these kinds of videos because I pick up really cool things that I now know for future reference. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget that we did open that second San Antonio Auburn's Academy date where you get to hang out with me in person as well as tons of other educators to do hands-on awesome projects for two days of fun education. So those dates for the San Antonio and the Baton Rouge, Louisiana dates are down below for you to sign up. And guys, when you do sign up for those events, we get to do more of them. So we love in-person education. So definitely sign up for those down below. All right, guys, don't forget that the Brother Scan and Cut is available on our website, allbrands.com, as well as tons of other things. And when you do purchase through us, not only are you supporting a family-owned and operated business since 1976, but you're also helping us continue this free education that we do. And we really, really do appreciate when you guys buy your Scan and Cuts and all of your Scan and Cut accessories and all of your notions and different things from us, your machines. We have Brother Stillayers and Brother Six Needles and all those awesome, awesome machines on our website. And let them know in the comments that Courtney sent you. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's the easiest way to let us know that you guys want more of these videos. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Behind the scenes for you guys. To focus my camera, what I, what I do is I'll take this plant that's usually sitting right there and I put it right here because this is about the shape of my head. And then I go over to my camera and I zoom in and <laughs> I focus it on this plant, okay? And it works. And then I put the plant back and my head goes there and then I'm in focus. Watch it. You laugh, but it does work. See? See, it works, okay? And then the plant goes away and my face is in focus. That was good. That was, yeah, that was really good. Where the end of it would be a great. Where is the end of this? Why don't they have a tab? Something. Okay. Oh, I found it, I found it. Now, the one thing I am hesitant about this hack, oh yeah, is that it's gonna be messy. I don't know if you guys could see that. That was just, you know what, maybe I'll keep this to put back on there when we're done because, I'm, oh God, it smells. I do not like the smell of baby powder. I don't, I have a funny feeling I'm not gonna like this. It's a pretty dark camera, so sorry about the footage. Also, ignore my nail, I'm fixing it later. Oh, whoops. Oh, I wasn't supposed to weed that part out. Dang it. I don't like the smell of paper. It smells so bad. My whole my whole studio smells like this now. I don't like this. Throwing that away.
I just, I can't, can't. Oh, can't, I unplugged it. How many, how often do I do that? I think once a show, honestly, I think once a show, I unplug that. It's cause the cord's right by my hip. Get my spatula tool. Here, find my spatula tool. I don't know what my spatula 